Hello everyone, welcome once again to another episode of the Psych Talk. I'm your host Keerti Garg, a practicing psychologist and also the founder of the Psych Life. Today's episode is very special hai because we have with us a, the guest who is a graduate from IIM. She is a practicing HR professional, a famous content creator and the cherry on the cake, my lovely sister. Meet her, she is Ms. Dipakshi Garg and I'm very very happy to have her. This is definitely going to be a fun shoot, just getting to know you more. Uh, I would want to know your experiences, uh, your achievements and most importantly the challenges that you have faced. So welcome on the Psych Talk. How Thank does it feel? Thank you so much. I am very excited. I have heard so much about Psych Talk. I follow Psych Life very closely and I watch all the podcasts. Okay, so you are my sister. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it feels very good to be a part of this show and you know. Great. Uh, how did you get into content creation? You are a famous content creator, we know. We know how viral your deals are, how viral your videos are. And I have known you personally, somebody who has always been so intelligent, somebody who has always been so much passionate about her academics, about building a career. But you didn't know content creation and how did you get into this? So it all started in 2020 when Covid hit all of us. Uh, till that time, Miku, in my academic journey, whatever I wanted to achieve, I felt that I've achieved it to a very great extent. When Covid ka time came, tha, I was honestly very free. And I've always felt that I have a very weird sense of humor and there are some people who will relate with me. And that's how I thought that, you know, why not? Let's give it a try. Everybody was, you know, trying to do something on Instagram. We had so many influencers, so many people blooming from that era. So I just thought that let's give it a try. Uh, honestly, the first year was very tough because I was putting my heart into it, but then I was not getting the kind of response, the kind of reach that I expected. And then I am happened. Uh, I'm somebody who does not believe in mixing two things. So I thought that you yes. know, now I am in my MBA journey. I'm going to give my full heart to it. So I put a pause to my concentration for two years. But then when my convocation got done, I came back to Delhi. I had a one month gap before my job started. So I thought that okay, one month, try basis, but let's see how it goes. If it goes good, I'm going to continue. Otherwise, then I'll drop it. And very surprisingly, very thankfully, within the first week, my reel got very viral. I got more than 30 million views. So uh, it worked out for me and this is something I do just out of passion because I love creating content. Weird, weird ideas, ko karna, relatable content, banana, mujhe bahut aata hai. It's, it's like my uh, favorite thing to do when I'm free. So that's how I got into content creation. And I think the thing I have with you is definitely the passion with which you do this. Not that you don't love your job, not that you don't love your career. But the passion that you have for content creation, I see that on a daily basis. But I'm sure that you can see good things. What is the reality behind all of this? Does the number hit us somewhere? How many views are there? How many followers are there? How many filters are there? How many filters are Does all of that matter and how does it impact you? Definitely. I mean, I would say that at this point, I am at a stage uh, when it comes to mental health, I'm at a stage where I am more mature. But I was not this person. Uh, you know, as a content creator, I'm sure all the other content creators would agree with this. We put a lot of hard work. Right. When whether it be idea, how do you shoot it, which filter, which angle, what should be the background, what should be the dialogues. Like when it comes to me, I write my own script. I don't copy from here and there. My dialogues are my own. So, and it is with a lot of other people as well. So, a lot of hard work goes behind a single video which is of 10 seconds. For us, our validation, our motivation, everything comes from numbers. How many likes are there, how many views are there. Some personal comments which people are, you know, uh, they're it's commenting good. that, you know, you're doing good, you're not doing good. This, this could be better, this is going good. So, you know, when, when those comments come, when, when that reach comes, it gives you more than motivation. I think it's a validation for me that what I'm doing is good and I'm going on the right track. So when you get don't get those numbers, it affects you and it affects you so bad that it's very difficult to put it in words, but it affects you 
way too much that you reach a point where you feel like there's no point of doing it. Let's let's just drop it. So, so we can say that numbers are not important, but actually they are. They are. Okay. I like how you said that these numbers is actually a source of validation for you. This is the response that you're getting. This is the feedback probably that you're getting. And just to add one more thing. I don't feel that it should be with every single video or every single content that you're posting. But when the same, when it's a constant response, which is no response for a very long time, that becomes a source of validation. Yeah, my work is not getting validated. Am I? You know, you you self doubting yourself. Ki main sahi kar rahi hu, nahi kar rahi. What is happening? Something just clicked me. Since I'm a psychologist, so therapy se related, mujhe ek click kiya ki uh, jab hum apne clients ke saath work karte hain, we are working on their healing process. So there are sessions in which you will see a lot of improvement in client. Mein. There are sessions in which you will see a lot of improvement. Which is what I think your numbers sound. Kiss through. Kissy deal pe aaga hai, kissy pe nahi aaya. But then when I see ki 4-5 sessions ho gai, client mein kuch improvement nahi aaya, same issue baar baar aaya hai. I think that is where the concern comes. I, I don't know, I'm able to say yeah, that. Yeah, you are too. I mean, I get that connection here. Huh. So. so Dipakshi, you said ki 2 months ago, there was a lot of sense nahi ki mental health ki, aur ab hai. ऐसा But honestly, uh, somewhere around two months back, I was not just having a bad day or a bad week. I was having a very bad month because, as I mentioned, I am working as an HR. I live away from my family, away from my friends, and life itself is very challenging when you are on your own. So you know, you seek that comfort. I personally seek that comfort in content creation because that has become another world for me, and that world gives me a lot of happiness. When things were not working out for me, it started impacting me in a way where uh, I went till a zone where wherein I did not talk to my family members, I did not talk to my friends. I just confided myself in my room. I was not going out. I did not do anything because I used to feel so bad, and you know, I started questioning every single thing that I am doing in my life. But then somehow, I don't know. I just started reading a lot a lot of quotes a lot of interviews of people a lot of people like you who promote mental health i hear a lot of these videos and i see a lot of these interviews and one of that interviews um, i will not quote which interview but there was this uh, dialogue this line which really stayed with me and that was the turning point where when you know i started valuing my mental health a lot which said that you know Life is very long. The reason we start self doubting ourselves because we see people younger than us achieving so much. So, we think that, yar, is age news? Is age news? Ne kitna kuch kar liya? What am I doing? But there are people who are achieving, who have just started achieving their goals in the age of seventy and eighty. So, age is just a number. I feel. Me ko lagta tha, yar, I am twenty four. Me ne bhi ta kya hi kar raha hai? But when I when I heard this interview, it just changed my perspective that. I am 24. I have already achieved a lot. Obviously, there's a lot more to achieve, but there's a very long life ahead. So, आज अगर कुछ अच्छा नहीं हो रहा, ठीक है, कल अच्छा नहीं हो रहा, एक हफ्ते बाद नहीं हो रहा, एक महीने बाद नहीं हो रहा, एक साल बाद होगा, दो साल बाद होगा. We have a very long life, so it's it's pointless because you're not harming anybody. You're just harming yourself. इतना सोच के पूरी दुनिया को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा what you're going through. So there's no point. मतलब Stop, stop overthinking so much. हर एक चीज को हर एक मतलब there was a point when obviously when your reels are getting viral, तो मैं बहुत negative comments आते हैं. मैं I remember I was on a trip with my you know I was on a work trip and a reel was getting so viral, but उसपे इतने negative comments आ रहे थे. I spoiled my whole trip because of that. I मैं कहीं और ध्यान ही नहीं लगा पा रही थी. मेरा बार बार आपको तो mind वही चल रहा था. I started engaging with those comments. फिर और गंदे comments आ रहे थे. And it was just a loop. Usse, and I just realized that I will not engage in it if that's better. That's better. I am not harming myself. More power to you. <laughs> and I know I have been to your place. I know it's not easy living alone. I see a different Dipakshi there all together. <laughs> so yeah, it, it brings me to two questions. To, I have two questions in my mind. 
द फर्स्ट वन इज यू मैंशनिंग की कॉन्टेंट क्रिएशन या सोशल मीडिया इज एन ऑल टूगेदर डिफरेंट प्लेस फॉर यू समवेर यू कम फाइव इन टू सो आर देर टू इमेजेस दैट पीपल और कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर्स कैन टू शो और वट डू यू डू डू यू हैव द सेम इमेज ऑन लाइन एंड एज अ पर्सन यू ट्राई टू कीप इट सेम और डू यू हैव टू डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड इन विच यू लिविंग सो ऑनेस्टली आई कॉन्ट टॉक फॉर अदर्स बट देन आई एम समबडी आई ट्राई टू कीप माई रियल लाइफ एंड माई रियल लाइफ वेरी सेम Obviously, you can't portray your whole personal life on social media. That that does not make sense. But I try to be as real, as normal as I am in my real life, and that is one of the reasons I feel my followers, my people who follow me, they connect with me so much because what I am in my real life, I am on my social media as well. So I don't agree to that. Ki two images hai, but yes, when it comes to two different worlds, the kind of love, the kind of affection I get from my personal life is different. the kind of love and affection i get from social media it's a different, different community of bay it's a support system so when i say that it's a world i confide in when i am uh, when i feel that you know nothing is going good in my personal life that is when i feel like i confide in social media and i get so much love from there that you know it makes me happy but when both of them are not working well that's when the, the problem, problem becomes bigger right. the second question that i had was ki You mentioned you went on a trip and you could not enjoy the trip because of all of these things bothering you. How do you deal with trolls? How do you deal with comments? It's a very common question. Okay, I must tell you. But I, I want to know your perspective. How do you deal with such things? So honestly, today's date, what I do? If so, hit and try, we've done. 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 We've done or something else which should not even bother me so what i personally do is agar koi negative comment aata hai to wo bahut hi ganda comment hota hai main usse delete kar deti hu agar koi aisa comment hota hai ki matlab ko pata hai ki log mazak mein kuch bol rahe hain to main bahut hi sarcastic and bahut funny way mein uska reply kar deti hu most of the time i just ignore delete bhi nahi karti i just ignore ki theek hai pade hain to this is our comments mein ek comment hunda hai to delete uh the pakshi i would like to know ki when was the first time if you are able to recall it that you started realizing that mental health is something and it is something which is important for you so uh very honestly having a sister who's a psychologist really helps because i was not somebody who was very high on mental health or mental well being and until i started you know i got to know the kind of work that you do so that first breakthrough for me was when i saw you promoting mental health talking about mental health So that was the first time externally I started valuing mental health. You heard conversations around mental health. Exactly, but uh, it was when I started my MBA in IIM. So in HR we have a lot of psychology related subjects. So we have had a lot of subjects on emotional intelligence, you know, subjects related to that. So we have had a lot of professors, a lot of uh, people from the industry who came and you know who shared their experiences. Uh, I remember we had a gender balance ki upar we had a whole uh, course on that and the, the our professor she was from the LGBTQIA community and when she started talking about her experience her challenges just because she belongs to a particular community the kind of negativity the kind of hatred the kind of challenges that she had faced it you know kind of brought that empathy within me that you know it's it's very important to respect where people are no everybody is you know facing a internal challenge that you know nothing about so it's very important to before we judge somebody it's very important to know where they are mentally how 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 is their mental health so my uh, uh, post graduation was a very big platform from where mental health became a very important and a very a uh, area which Was very important for me. Would you be comfortable sharing some challenges that you've gone through, whether it was during your, uh, you know, I am years or you living alone today, just the challenges in general, mental health challenges, whatever you're comfortable sharing. So uh, again, I will not quote the incidents, but I will definitely share how I felt at that time and also how you overcame. I think that's sure. Awesome. <laughs> so uh, it was during my second year of post graduation. I. Uh, I think I was facing one of the toughest, toughest times of my life. Again, I was away from family. I had friends there, but then a lot of betrayals, a lot of 
you know when you are in such an environment in such a close environment that environment becomes so toxic for you after a point that you know every small thing affects you to an extent that you you are not just you you just not able to control it so there were two three months where i was uh, where i lost a lot of friends where i faced a lot of betrayals academically touch wood things were very good but apart from apart from my academics everything was so bad i remember there was this day it was after we were partying and you know i was i was very very mentally disturbed and that night you know after the party got over it was like 5 6 in the morning i tried to self harm myself because i was i was very very disturbed and i did not even know kiske paas jaau kisko kya bolu i i didn't know kon kitna samjhega it was a very tough time for me and honestly uh okay so how i overcame that was uh, i spoke to you i shared everything with you and there was something that you told me and you know which which has stayed with me till date which is there are things you can control there are things you can't control things that you can control take charge of it and change it things you can't control stop overthinking about it and you know let it go just let it go so that's when i realized that everything i'm upset about right now is out of my control i can't do anything about it so there is no point making a fuss out of it usko rehne dete na let's see what happens next matlab jo hoga dekha jayega main usme bahut dil karti hu so i'm very proud of you and uh, i'm just very proud of you uh, that you dealt with all of this and today you are you know feeling confident and you know strong enough to share about it. it's not easy thank you for doing that um Okay, uh, we can move on to another to the next question. I just I just lost <laughs> my flow listening to you, but I'm glad that you reached out, whether it was to me or whether you know. And for that, for that matter, anybody who is getting disturbing thoughts, who is going through a difficult time, um, it might be something big, it might be something small. I'm nobody to comment on the heaviness and intensity of it. Do reach out. to a trusted one to a mental health professional whoever you can but do reach out take take inspiration from my sister because i'm very proud of her <laughs> okay uh thoda sa mahol ko light karte hain please maine thoda sa i i've just gathered some prompts and i would just like to know what your um, views are on these particular things okay sure. it's related to content creation it's related <laughs> to mental health all of that right? sure uh, this is not the game game i ki baat mein <laughs> it's a part of the conversation okay, okay. uh i will start with filters what do you think about that instagram filters they are very important okay there are so many days you just don't feel like getting ready and filters are like serious during okay. that time but do you think there are also something so they are important from this perspective that's interesting to know but uh what about being unfiltered what do you think about that so uh, a very unpopular opinion here i feel that you know social media has trolled filters and you know they've just trolled it so much that you know people who use filters are very fake they are this they are that i completely disagree with that i feel that you know if you feel that you know in filters you look good it, it's making you feel you want to post a good picture you want yeah, to look good you you have all the right to do that why not i mean if i feel that you know what how i'm looking right now i don't feel very happy looking at myself But when I put put a filter in front of me, when I take a picture, and I feel good looking at that picture, what is so wrong about that? It it is perfectly okay, and it's very important to normalize these things. And I'm I mean not judging somebody who's putting on a filter, and at the same time not judging somebody who's putting on unfiltered. Picture. Yeah, both of them are both of them are completely okay. Going unfiltered, I feel that it takes a lot of courage. The ones who do that, brown. I mean, it takes a lot of courage. I don't have it, honestly. But, मतलब I appreciate both the sides. If somebody is choosing to put filters, that is all. It's it's a personal choice. Let's not comment on that. Okay. Um, what do you have to say about the trending and the viral challenges which are there on Instagram? But yeah, other platforms. Too. Some of them are very stupid, very very stupid. I mean, uh, when I used to make uh, content two years back, a big part of my content used to be trolling these challenges and these <laughs> you know, जो भी कुछ भी वायरल कर देते हैं 
बट ठीक है आई फील कि लोग देखते भी वही है बट मजाक भी उसी का उड़ाते हैं तो ठीक है मतलब इफ यू आस्क मी आई डोंट पर्सनली लाइक इट अलॉट मैं कोई भी अगर जिसे भी वो जस्ट लुकिंग लाइक अवाओ बहुत ज्यादा ट्रेंडिंग है आई हैव नॉट पोस्टेड अ सिंगल रील ऑन दैट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू पोस्ट वन सो गुड वेरी गुड ये सब तो पोस्ट हो चुके हो वेरी गुड बट इट्स माय पर्सनल व्यू मे को नहीं पसंद कि अनलेस आई लाइक अ ट्रेंड आई विल नॉट पोस्ट अबाउट इट ठीक है सो मिक्स व्यूज अराउंड दिस व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट डिजिटल डिटॉक्स एज अ कंटेंट क्रिएटर जिसका काम धंधा ही डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म पे है व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट डिजिटल डिटॉक्स सो ऑनेस्टली आई फील दैट यू नो व्हेन एवर यू फील दैट यू नो मेरे लिए बहुत एग्जॉस्टिंग हो रहा है it it is taking too much of your energy and as i mentioned ki social media ye aapko ek happiness deta hai when you feel that what you are getting out of it is less than what you are giving in which, which are your effort you should take a break bahut lamba nahi hafte bhar ka le lo 10 din ka le lo mahine ka le lo but a detox is important i don't take it because for me instagram is my happy place i love being on instagram wo stories ho wo content ho wo logo se baat karna ho वो रैंडम मैसेजेस का रिप्लाई करना हो कुछ भी हो आई पर्सनली एंजॉय इट अ लॉट एंड आई फील व्हाट आई एम गेटिंग आउट ऑफ इट इज सो मच मोर देन व्हाट आई एम पुटिंग इन सो आई पर्सनली हैव नॉट टेकन एनी ब्रेक फ्रॉम द लास्ट 6 7 मंथ्स बट यस व्हेन यू फील दैट इट्स एग्जॉस्टिंग यू शुड टेक अ ब्रेक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके अ लास्ट थिंग अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर सेगमेंट व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट पीपल शेयरिंग देयर वल्नरेबिलिटीज ऑन सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ करेज ओके मतलब आई मीन यू ऑब्वियसली नो देर देव बिन सो मेनी चैलेंजेस इन माई लाइफ इतने बड़ी चीजें हुई है पास्ट में बट टिल डेट आई हैव जीरो कॉन्फिडेंस इन शेयरिंग इट सो वेन आई देर सो मेनी पेजेस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम यू नो हु पोस्ट अबाउट स्टोरीज ऑफ पीपल यू नो हु हैव ओवरकम और हु आर गोइंग थ्रू अ वेरी बिग चैलेंज आई फील इट टेक्स अ लॉट उसका भी सही चल रहा है मैं कुछ गलत कर रहा हूँ क्या मैं कुछ गलत कर रही हूँ क्या तो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू शो द अदर साइड एज वेल तो वेन वेन आई एज अ व्यूअर वेन आई सी द काइंड ऑफ हार्डशिप्स दैट पीपल हैव फेस हाउ दे हैव ओवरकम इट गिव्स मी अ लॉट ऑफ मोटिवेशन आई थिंक समथिंग दैट आई पर्सनली ट्राई टू डू इन साइट लाइफ इज सो आई आई शेयर कि आज इतना सारा हैवी डे था ये ये कर लिया ये नहीं किया बट आई ऑल्सो मेक श्योर कि मैं एक स्टोरी डाल रही हूँ कि ये ये आज नहीं कर पाए एग्जैक्ट इस तरह भी ट्राई किया नहीं हो पाया एंड आई फील योर फॉलोअर्स दे कनेक्ट विद यू सो मच बिकॉज ऑफ you being so genuine about these things you you being able to talk about these things it's very important so and honestly even not to a very great extent but even i do post sometimes that you know today was not a very good day and since it was not a good day see this is what i'm doing ya to me swimming ja rahi hu ya to you know i i believe in god a lot to me bahut time mujhe puchna tha what do you do for self care so oh, i love swimming and luckily main ja rahi thi wahan par hamare paas ek bahut bada pool hai बहुत अमेजिंग सो जब मेरे को लगता है कि यार अब बस ब्रेक चाहिए एक मैं फोन बंद कर देती हूँ मेरा सेल्फ केयर में फोन कहीं नहीं आता माई सेल्फ केयर इज पुटिंग ऑन अ शीट मास्क कुकिंग समथिंग वेरी अमी विच आई लव एंड गुड एंड फ्रेंड्स इज वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट सो आई डू पुट फ्रेंड्स एंड सेंटेड कैंडल्स होती है लाइट डिम होती है and I just relax मैं पोट पीती हूँ बहुत ज्यादा तो मैं सिपर में एंड समटाइम्स अगर शाम का टाइम है तो आई डू गो फॉर अ स्विम या कभी कभी जैसे बहुत बार ऐसा भी होता है मैं आई एम इन ऑफिस बट लास्ट नाइट वॉज नॉट अट इट वॉज नॉट अ गुड डे एंड अभी भी वो थाट्स कैरी ऑन हुए हैं टू द नेक्स्ट डे सो देर हैव बिन डेज जहाँ पर मैं ऑफिस में अपने एयरपोर्ट जगा कर आई लिसन टू सम वेरी सूदिंग भजन क्योंकि दैट काम्स मी डाउन तो मैं वो सुनती हूँ कभी कभी रोना आ जाता है वो आए रो लेती हूँ अच्छे से एंड आई बिलीव क्राइम इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मतलब लोगों को लगता है कि यार रो रहे हैं तो हम बहुत वीक है फॉर मी क्राइंग इज द बेस्ट वे टू वेंट आउट मैं सेफेस्ट थिंग यू कैन डू बिकॉज एक तो आप अपने साथ कर रहे हो जो भी कर रहे हो रो रहे हो अंदर से एक बहुत मतलब बहुत नेगेटिव इमोशन बाहर निकल रहे हैं सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग सो 
जब मेरा एकदम होता है ना कि द बकेट इज फुल नाउ अब उसको उसको बर्स्ट होना है बस वो एंगर हो इवन वेन आई एम वेरी ओवर वेन आई क्राई सो वेन एवर एनी इमोशन हिट्स इट स्पीक आई क्राई एंड आई फॉर्म ऑफ पेंटिंग it it has you me. mentioned about office and you know all of this it it got me rem- it got me reminded of uh, you doing this little cute thing for your office members <laughs> you want to share about that matlab <laughs> mujhe pata hai but we was okay. okay. so uh, what i did was so we had a new head hr and you know whenever somebody new comes in things in office change a little bit and you know i i used to for, for a week i observed everybody was earning year in there things were so hectic tight deadlines so what i decided was the next day in office i would go very early because people usually come in by 9 9:15 so i went at 8:30 i uh, you know i took these very cute colorful posters and then i bought acche acche quotes like nothing related to work everything related to you your self worth and you know you doing your best so usse related maine bahut sare quotes likhe and before everybody started coming in maine sabke office mein including my head hr including my manager मैंने हर किसी के ऑफिस में हर किसी के डेस्क पर वो बहुत सारे क्यूट पोस्टर्स लगाए एंड द काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन आई कुड नॉट रिकॉर्ड एवरी सिंगल रिएक्शन बट जो रिएक्शन थे वाओ मतलब इट वो जो एक घंटे का एफर्ट मैंने करा था इट वॉज टोटली वॉर्थ इट बिकॉज आई नो इवन टिल डेट इट्स बिन वॉट मोर देन टू मंथ्स लोगों ने हटाया नहीं है and you know that poster ka peeche ka that stickiness comes out they have put a tape on it they have put a thumb that thumb pin on it and you know one one of my colleagues i asked her ki yaar isko fek do na main aur bana kar de dungi she was like ki i need it to see this stamp pin matlab agar main us din ye nahi padhti things would have been different for me but because i read it it helped me in a way i can't even tell you so it's good to be kind yes <laughs> it's the easiest thing that you can do it does not require investment Thank you so much for being so <laughs> candid. अब एक fun segment है. मैं बहुत wait कर रही थी इस game के लिए. I have heard so much about this game. But she does not know anything. Uh-huh. She just knows about this game. Like so the fancy name of the game is Content Creator Con- Confessions. So okay. it's Content Creator Confessions. Fine. Right? <laughs> so I will be. I think I have eight nine situations. I will be asking you, and you just have to okay. be very candid, very honest, like you've been. Okay. Sure. First of all, you will like because I know the answer to this. Um, tell me about a recent or a recent fan interaction that you had. Was it heartwarming, funny, unexpected? How did you feel about it? So it was. Uh, I remember the date. It was on twentieth of October. So I went to uh, Garba Nai, you know, apartment nearby. So वहाँ पर there was a very very long queue. हम वहाँ एक घंटा खड़े रहे हमें टिकट्स वगैरह कुछ नहीं मिली एंड आई वॉज एकदम होता है ना मैं इतना रेडी होकर गई थी और मैं एकदम ऐसे हो गई थी कि यार चलो यहाँ से द मोमेंट आई वॉज अबाउट टू लीव दीज टू क्यूट ब्यूटिफुल गर्ल्स गेम टू मी एंड देर लाइक की हाई विद पाक्षी गायक राइट सो आई वे की यार हाई आई थॉट कोई स्कूल का होगा आई माई डम नॉट रिकगनाइज लाइक यू वी फॉलो यूर इंस्टाग्राम एंड वी लव योर कॉन्टेंट कैन वी टेक अ पिक्चर एंड मतलब मैं बस सब भूल गई मैं एक घंटे से वेट कर रही हूँ क्या चल रहा है क्या नहीं चल रहा है वो सो हैप्पी दैट यू नो यू नो इट फील्स गुड व्हेन यू गेट अ पब्लिक रिकॉग्निशन सो इट फेल्ट गुड आई वाज देयर विद हर व्हाट डू यू हैव टू से दैट एज अ कंटेंट क्रिएटर डेफिनेटली एवरीथिंग कम्स आउट ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी लाइक यू पोस्ट व्हेन यू फेस क्रिएटिव ब्लॉक्स व्हाट डू यू हैव टू से अबाउट दैट हाउ डू यू हैंडल इट या कैसा फील होता है उसको सो ऐसा ऑनेस्टली इनिशियली होता था बिकॉज you know when when uh, you train your mind in a way is it up uh, when you talk about it i've been posting content for almost 6 months mai har do se teen din kuch na kuch dalti hu my mind has been trained in a way where i observe very small things that i try to pick out very relatable things ha hum kahin bhi jaate hain the pakshi is just observing <laughs> like tumhare ko content karne wale hain par uske mana so mere ko koi bhi ideas aate hain to jaise aaj hi aapne jo idea diya ki cousins ke upar kuch banao so i told you ki we are having a cousins meet next week मैं ऑब्जर्व करूंगी उसके बाद में तो आई हैव बिकम वेरी ऑब्जर्वेंट बट इनिशियली व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड बहुत ज्यादा एफर्ट लगता था यार कि मैं क्या करूं मुझे कुछ आइडियाज ही नहीं आ रहे इधर उधर से कॉपी करने का भी कोई फायदा नहीं है क्योंकि मेरे अकॉर्डिंग जो कॉपी कंटेंट होता है वो कभी नहीं चलता तो अनलेस यू आर एडिंग योर फ्लेवर व्हाट्स द राइट पॉइंट अगर किसी का अच्छा लग रहा है उसे रीशेयर ही कर दो सो व्हाट आई डिड एट दैट टाइम मैं जो मेरी ही व्हाट इज इट मेरी कम्युनिटी के लोग हैं the people who post uh, entertainment related videos i started uh, watching their reels maine more than 200 reels dekhi hai 
एंड मैंने कोई भी थिएटर नहीं छोड़ा मैंने सबके रील्स देखे हैं सबका कंटेंट देखा है यू आर लुकिंग फॉर इंस्पिरेशन आई वाज लुकिंग फॉर इंस्पिरेशन कहीं ना कहीं से कुछ एक होता है ना कि तुम एक डायलॉग सुन लेते हैं तुम्हें उसके ऊपर एक पूरी स्टोरी याद आ जाती है कि अरे आई कैन अरेट दैट इंसिडेंट आई कैन पुट दैट थिंग मतलब कुछ ना कुछ कहीं ना कहीं से बट वो इंस्पिरेशन बहुत जरूरी है एंड आई टेक दैट इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम द क्रिएटर्स हु आर इन माई फील फ्रॉम डेली रिलेटेबल तो मेरा इंस्पिरेशन इन्हीं चीजों से आता है मेरे फ्रेंड्स बहुत सपोर्टिव है वो मेरे को बहुत आइडियाज देते रहते तो इस पे बना ले उस पे बना ले तो कहीं ना कहीं वो आइडियाज पिक करके बट राइट नाउ और टच वुड थिंक्स आर गुड बिकॉज आइडियाज अब अपने आप आ जाते हैं थोड़ा सा माइंड भी ट्रेन हो गया माइंड ट्रेन हो गया एग्जैक्टली और टेल मी अबाउट अ प्रोजेक्ट और अ रील और कंटेंट जस्ट अ प्रोजेक्ट इन जनरल दैट यू लव्ड बट यू डिन गेट द अटेंशन दैट यू होप्ड इट वुड एंड ड्यू टू सम रीजन यू डिन गेट द अटेंशन हाउ डिड दैट मेक यू फील सो समाइम बैक मैंने एक कैंपेन करा था लॉरियल के साथ एंड आई लव दैट कॉज इट वॉज स्टैंड अप अगेंस्ट स्ट्रीट हेरासमेंट तो बींग अ गर्ल बींग फ्रॉम डेली स्ट्रीट हेरासमेंट इज समथिंग वी हियर एवरी डे एवरी एंड ऑनेस्टली मेरे को वर्ड याद नहीं आ रहा बट जहाँ पर लोग यू नो यू पासिंग बाय दे पास कॉमेंट्स या वी हैव ऑल फेस दैट सो दैट वॉज अ कैंपेन जो मेरे को जैसे ही पता चला Without even coming to the numbers, without even anything, I just said yes to it. That no matter what, no, I want to be a part of it because the cause is so important. It is so required at this point. So that was something I wanted to, you know, be shown on my page, to be shown to my to people who follow me. But again, because it was not real, so I feel that it was not enough reach. It was not enough awareness. What I wanted to create, that was not possible. But again. टाइम टू टाइम मैं वो सेम पोस्ट रीशेयर करती रहती हूँ बिकॉज इट्स इट शुड रीच मास टेल मी अ कॉन्टेंट वेर यू फाउंड इंस्पिरेशन अ कॉन्टेंट वेर यू क्रिएटेड और उसकी इंस्पिरेशन बहुत ही अनएक्सपेक्टेड प्लेस है बहुत ही अनएक्सपेक्टेड जगह से सो एक ऐसी वीडियो जो मैंने बनाई है उसकी इंस्पिरेशन हाँ बहुत ही अनएक्सपेक्टेड जगह से सर टेल यू ये आज से बहुत साल पहले की बात है तीन साल पहले की बात है मैंने अपनी फर्स्ट बनिया वीडियो बनाई थी सो आज ही मतबी हुई माई नीश इज बनिया ऑडियंस सो जो मैंने फर्स्ट बनिया रील बनाई थी तो तब मेरी जॉब जस्ट स्टार्ट होने वाली थी एंड माई डैड बींग द फनियर पर्सन ही पास आर डैड सॉरी सो ही बींग सो फनियर से डैड से उन्होंने ये कॉमेंट पास करा एंड इट जस्ट कि अरे एक सेकंड इस पे वीडियो बनेगी अब एंड वो वीडियो मैंने बनाई एंड दैट वाज अगेन वन ऑफ माय फर्स्ट वायरल वीडियो एंड वो वीडियो आज तक ट्रेंड कर रही है इवन टिल डेट इज विन थ्री इयर्स और बहुत अरे मतलब पापा से मेरे को एक कंटेंट मिलेगा वो मैंने कभी सोचा ही नहीं था सो या दैट वॉज वन वीडियो इफ यू कुड कोलेबरेट इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन इफ यू कुड कोलेबरेट विद एनी हिस्टोरिकल फिगर या कोई फिक्शनल कैरेक्टर या कोई भी पर्सनैलिटी Who would that be to create your content? Phoebe Buffer. Oh. Any day, I mean, the one character who is, I feel, who is my, my, मतलब I am her replica in every way. मतलब she is crazy, she's fun, she's very kind, very caring, and you know she does a lot for people, just के लिए she cares. But she's so weird in a way. Where yeah, she does not know that she's weird, yeah. and I feel that I am that. You person. are that. You are that person. You are weird, but you don't know you're weird. Exactly. So, so, I uh, mean, if I could, I would have her sitting here with me, and you know, just asking her that let's just be us, and us be itna content ban jayega, or survival ho jayega. Share a content piece of yours which is extremely close to you. Okay, so there was this content that I posted on content creators only again some time back. Uh, it was to, it was about you know the struggles, the challenges, and you know whatever hardships that we as content creators face. You know, कहीं पर भी जाते हैं लोग बोलते हैं अरे ये तो भाई influencer है ये तो वो है मतलब people down look on influencers and content creators so much. उन्हें लगता है कि यार हर दूसरा तीसरा बंदा तो इन्फ्लुएंसर है करते क्या है बस वीडियो बनाते हैं सो इन दैट वीडियो आई एक्चुअली एंड आई टॉक माई हार्ट आउट इन दैट वीडियो जहाँ पर मैंने लिटरली सबको बताया है कि यार ये ये स्ट्रगल्स है जो तुम्हें पता भी नहीं होता मतलब तुम्हें ऐसा लगता है कि तुम दस सेकेंड की वीडियो देख रहे हो उसके पीछे जो दस दिन की मेहनत होती है ना यू नो नथिंग अबाउट दैट सो दैट इज वन वीडियो विच इज वेरी क्लोज टू मी उसमें भी मेरे को बहुत नेगेटिव कॉमेंट्स आए बट आई डोंट केयर बिकॉज 
at least people are hearing that that is more important and i'm sure people from your community for that matter matlab hum bhi instagram pe bhi are running a page or running an organization we relate to it because like somebody spoke about it and that feels good yeah i mean if you're facing something if you are not able to talk about it somebody else can it feels good it feels like you know you heard what you wanted exactly to uh being a bunny and creating content on bunny how does that feel <laughs> and mocking us most of the time <laughs> so uh mera <laughs> play bilkul bhi kyunki matlab main koi bhi ghar ka ek day pick kar leti hu uska content ban jata hai bahut sab viral expose ho jata hai but ha one thing which me ko jisme bahut acha lagta hai so what has started happening uh, you would also i don't know if you have observed it or not but hamare ghar mein bhi hota hai ki मैंने एक वीडियो बनाई है मेरी मॉम वो वीडियो हमारी मॉम वो वीडियो देखती है पापा वो वीडियो देखते हैं अब वो सेम चीज फिर से रिपीट होती है सो दे से कि तू ज्यादा तूने इसी पे वीडियो बनाई थी सो दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज मोर ऑफ एन अचीवमेंट फॉर मी कि आज द वीडियोस आर मेकिंग पीपल आर थिंकिंग ऑफ माय वीडियो व्हेन द सेम थिंग हैपेंस आई थिंक रिलेटेबिलिटी इज योर द बेस्ट यू नो द कीवर्ड फॉर योर वीडियोस बहुत ज्यादा रिलेटेबल होती है मतलब कितना एक स्कोल है बट आर रिलेटेबल ओके Uh, a negative comment or a backlash like you have been talking about ki kuch trolling hoti hai commenting hoti hai that you received and how did you deal with it so uh, since i started posting a lot on banyas me ko ek comment aaya tha jahan par somebody said that you know uh, look at her she has made her cast her whole personality so hmm. us comment ko maine pin kara hai usko maine reply kar raha hai ki yes my cast is my most whole personality it's a part of my identity Uh, it's a part of my identity and on instagram yes being a banya is my identity is my personality you are the banya girl you know yeah <laughs> and there is nothing wrong in that i mean i am proud of my community because not just instagram but this community has given me a lot and i am very thankful and very respectful for what i've got from this community if i'm getting a chance to show the good side obviously roasting roasting chal rahe but if i'm able to show the good side ki you know this is how we are perceived but this is how we are actually there is nothing wrong in that so this is you are not degrading it. somebody else you just sharing about yeah. who you are and, and okay. mere ko lagta hai ki agar koi video fun ke liye hai to usko fun ke liye hi lo everything should not be you know taken in a very serious and in a very negative way kuch cheeze sirf dekh kar entertainment ke liye hoti hai usko entertainment tak nahi hai theek hai what is your go to self care ritual to recharge yourself शीत मास्क लगाती हूँ मैं फ्रेंड्स लगाती हूँ आई कुक गुड फूड आई हैव अ माई सिप जिसमें कोक होती है एंड आई जस्ट यू नो हैव अ वेरी वेरी गुड बॉलीवुड नाइन आई वुड सी एंड आई बिन डूइंग इन अभी बहुत दिनों से तो मैं बस डार्क टू डार्क सारी फ्लॉक फिल्म देखती हूँ बट बस मुझे हंसी आती है मजा आता है तो बॉलीवुड नाइन आई वुड से अपार्ट फ्रॉम अगर ये स्किन केयर वाला चीज छोड़ दो इसके अलावा वट आई डू इज रात को दस ग्यारह बजे आई हैव थोड़ा अच्छा खाना अच्छी ड्रिंक्स टीवी पर मूवी चल रही है और मैं सुबह तक मूवीज देखती हूँ एंड आई जस्ट फील गुड बिकॉज आई एम विद माई सेल्फ सो दैट्स नाइस माई लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इफ यू हैड दी अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रन अ मेंटल हेल्थ अवेयरनेस कैंपेन एज अ कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर विद द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और मे बी जस्ट द पोजिशन दैट यू हैव द ऑडियंस दैट यू हैव वॉट वुड यू सो Honestly, I have actually मैं बता ही देती हूँ यहाँ पर I've been waiting for some time to announce this information. So I've been planning a meetup. Uh, a lot of people have requested me कि उन्होंने एक बनिया meetup कर लेते हैं not just बनिया meetup but just a meetup with your community. Not just community but meetup with people who follow me. And ये मैंने सोचा है in that meetup we are gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of games, a lot of music, everything. But we are going to have a section where we talk about it. Or just vulnerability is just a sharing space, and it will not be me talking. I will not do it, but it will be us, us talking about it. Because I feel that awareness, just campaigns or you know, just big, big posts or just in video, in all, it's not enough. It's how you talk about it on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, the conversation, the, the, the conversation that we are having, it's very important to talk about these things as well. People will listen. It's okay, but. अगर इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू वैल्यू मेंटल हेल्थ टू रियलाइज दैट मेंटल हेल्थ इज इम्पोर्टेंट यू हैव टू टॉक टू मी अबाउट इट नॉट थ्रू वीडियो बट इन पर्सन सो ये डेफिनेटली इन माई मीटअप आई आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्लान इट एंड आई वोट लॉन्च इट वेरी सून सो या दैट इज हाउ आई वुड वॉन्ट टू रिलीज अबाउट मैसेज दैट्स अमेजिंग आई एम सो ग्लैड अबाउट वॉट वी डिड टूडे अबाउट दिस इंटायर शूट 
आई आई पर्सनली नो यू वेरी वेल लाइक वी आर वेरी क्लोज कुछ कुछ चीज़ें मुझे नहीं भी पता चली एंड आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ यू आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ हु यू आर एंड हु यू आर बिकमिंग इट्स नॉट ईजी टू बी एट द पोजिशन वेर यू आर एंड नॉट लेट एवरीथिंग हिट यू बट यू आर हैंडलिंग इट ऑल वेल लर्निंग फ्रॉम यू मिस्टेक्स हिट एंड ट्राइल्स होता रहता है सो दे इज जस्ट वन मोर थिंग दैट आई वुड वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू नो नॉट एवरीबडी इज एज लकी एज बी टू गेट therapist in a sister a psychologist in a sister who is going to be there with you no matter what and you know who understands you this well so i personally feel that it's very important to seek out for help it's it's very important to talk about what's going on over here because honestly when things are bad over here when things are not sorted over here nothing is good in life it's very important to just solution dhoondna na bahut baat ki baat hoti hai but just being able to talk about it and having somebody who listens to you matlab you know doston ke sath kyun maza nahi aata unko kuch batao yaar pata hai mere hi mere bhi saath hi hua tha are baba sit to listen to me no meri bhi ek problem chal rahi hai so that is the reason you need somebody who listens to you and your therapist is your friend and my therapist is my sister so it helps out but apart from that i mean even you don't know it but i have seek help professionally as oh, well very nice so because obviously i can't share every single thing with you there are some boundaries okay. so but yeah even i do seek out for help but jo bhi daily basis pe choti moti cheeze hoti hai i feel i can you know rely on you because you are a therapist you are a good listener as well so people do need to reach out for help when they need it it's very important Great. thank you for being in this position and talking so strongly about mental health about seeking help I'm sure all the listeners and viewers would have enjoyed our episode. <laughs> I hope so. It's a very special episode for me also personally. Just having her here. Thank <laughs> God I got her time. Just like कर लिया कुछ नकल नहीं रहे ऐसे बट कर लिया. So with this we come to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for listening and viewing, and we will be back again with the next episode. Please take care. Please reach out for help. You can always visit our official website www.thecyclife.com. Take care. Bye bye.